Greetings, hollow tablers. This is the gerbil, and in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks I've learned along the way to defeat the Acklay in the special mission Darkside Geonosian territory battles. Obviously, Geonosians is our team, and Brood Alpha should must be your leader. The Zeta is required for the Brood brute the genosian brute and keep in mind its stats are based on your brute alpha's stats so the better your alpha is the better the brute is i have mine at relic four but that's not necessary to win this fight you can actually do it with no relics at all and possibly gear 11 but that may be really challenging so number one tip number one do not kill all four jedis they will respawn do kill or ability block the two on the left and I'm a Gundy on the right, leave Consular alone. How do you ability block? I'll go through that in a moment, but those are the only three to worry about. Number two, get rid of that green buff that the Ackley starts with. Any of your Geos can do it by hitting the button on the bottom right, but that buff is basically doubling the offensive power of the Ackley, which means it can devastate your team. So, Opening move should always be to remove the buff from the Ackley. Then your second uh, goal should be to either kill or merely ability block the Jedi, which you can see me doing. Again, do not kill all four because they'll just respawn. And then you kind of feel like, well, that was a waste of time. The Consular is fundamentally worthless. Um, it's The reason I would actually suggest not killing all four Jedi though is because of that right there. Once in a while, Consular will attack you and if you have Retribution, you'll counterattack. and if you accidentally kill him, then poof, they're all back. But yeah, whatever. I usually just go ahead and kill them anyway because I'm going to win this without any difficulty. I am gonna screw up at the end and you'll see why it's so important not to make that mistake but we still get through this okay so tip number one recap don't kill all three jedi leave the board state just like you see here if you can tip number two get rid of the green buff on the acclay every time it pops up as soon as you can all right now tip number three maximize potency on poggle See, Poggle's basic, which of course he uses every time he attacks or is called to assist from all the other Geos, has an 80% chance to apply ability block. That's that's great, I mean 80%, but of course you have to be able to, to uh, surpass the tenacity on the target. So the higher the potency, the better. First, people misunderstand this all the time. There's actually two checks happening. 80% chance to, to apply the effect, that first has to clear. If that clears, then it goes tenacity versus potency to see if the effect is applied. But as you see there, I just landed it on I'm a Gundy and the Jedi on the left. So back to back, ability blocks there and our Geos are pretty safe. Now, what I didn't notice is that the Ackley though has its 100% bonus attack buff on it. And I'm totally ignoring that. I've got the, the ability block on the back Jedi and then I'm just gonna go kill them. Whereas my Brood Alpha should have removed that and I didn't and so boom, it did its big hit and we lost Spy, which makes us really, really hard. Tip number four, get Spy's offensive damage value out as high as possible as well. Just take that to the sky. Speed isn't as important for it as much as just the damage output because it's the only one that's gonna be able to really, really hurt the Acklay. Otherwise you grind away like I'm gonna do now for a long time. So tip number four, maximize Spy speed. The only three Geos that really matter here are Brood Alpha, Poggle, and Spy. To a lesser extent, but arguably still important though, uh, Soldier could be super important. Now, why so? Because if you if you have high enough crit chance on Soldier, he gains 25% turn meter every time he lands a crit. And since he's assisting every time, if you can get a speed up around the 70, 80 level, plus his, his static ability of plus 15%, he basically lands a crit every turn, which gives him another attack every three attacks. Every time two other people, two or three other people attack, he gets another turn, which he keeps your turn meter train rolling that way. So he's important, but Brood Alpha, 
liter zeta must all right let's look at these guys so here's my brood alpha relic four again not needed and you can see i got a speed and health mod set on him because the brute borrows his well his stats are based on his or scaled with him so i basically just want him to go as fast as i can to to summon to call in the aoe's um and i want the health to help the brute stay alive to take more hits now these are again my arena mods. So use your loadout system so that you don't have to keep bouncing around individual mods, assign them, and then just swap them as you go. Um, I, I have as much speed as I could here. It was plus 160. I could go more, but it's not needed. Okay, so spy. Spy speed is not as important, but I still have plus 118, which is great. I have almost a plus thousand damage on it, right? So for gear 12, that's pretty solid. And I've got the critical damage at 222%. Of course, we could go higher, but that's okay. This was sufficient. So the, the next one, of course, was um, Soldier. So Sunfax's not that important here. You just want to keep them alive, so health mods. Um, but Soldier, there you can see the plus 15% crit chant and the bonus turn meter on a critical hit. So I have mine only at about 65, giving him an 80% chance of critical hit, which is good enough. I have a lot of extra damage, plus 1500, because I, I, he's going to take a lot of turns, so just hit a whole lot. But Poggle is the special sauce here that keeps those Jedi from just annihilating you. So you want his potency up as high as possible. Mine's 120, plus 76% from those mods and those are not god mods are just great mods all right i hope this helps i'll see you around the hollow tables everyone take care